this week we're back to van life as we continue the search to find our dream home. We found some beautiful houses in Scotland and some amazing houses in Wales, but so far, no luck. So we've decided to get back in our bus and head up to the Highlands to continue the search. So wish us luck and make sure you subscribe to follow us on this exciting journey. So last week we packed up custard ready to go to Scotland, took it for our MOT which is like an annual vehicle check and it failed. I spent about two hours fixing the window washer motor because it wasn't spraying this windscreen and I was like if this isn't fixed it's going to fail and when I fixed it I was like she's going to fly straight through, changed the wing mirror as well because it got smashed off and then after the MOT he was like it's failed catastrophically. So we took it to a mate to get it fixed. He spent about four or five days. He's got new brake calipers, new brake pads, new brake pipes. Basically, half of the bus is brand new. <laughs> Time to pack the bus. Good to be home. Probably overpacking again. You might be thinking, what happened last week? And why didn't you go for that house in Wales? The house itself was stunning. We both absolutely loved it. For some reason we didn't film the garden, but the garden was kind of small and also the neighbours looked straight onto the garden either side. And the parking situation was a bit sketchy as well. What have you done? Sounded like something smashed. Uh, and also the area, as fussy as this sounds, we want to sort of walk out of our house and be able to run in nature. <laughs> It's a very specific request we've got, but that house just didn't have it. So unfortunately we had to say no to it. Finished. Now we need to fit all this in the cupboards. How does it feel to be back home, babes? Lovely. I didn't sleep that much last night because I was so excited to be back in the bus. Trev told me I need to put coconut coat in the toilet ASAP because she just had a coffee. <laughs> Toilet's ready. Now she's looking like a home. Yeah, cause dude. So when we were at home, we keep the bus at a farm and uh, she does get a little bit dirty. She's all clean inside and so we've got a matcher on the outside ready for her holidays. Bug Jones also took a paste in the last few months. So he needs to wash as well. Look at that, good as new. Ignore the rust. And we're on the road, baby! I'm buzzing to be back, honestly. I, I, I love this bus so much. Yeah, it's I'm great. able to bring everything I want with me. We've got a really exciting mission to go on. I just can't wait to get up there. But we're hoping that we can actually go on this mission because all the work's been done. Have you got the little MOT It's sticker? all in there, yeah. But we need to put it through another test. <laughs> and if it fails this test, we're coming back to Barry again. So come on, Custard. Do us proud, love. Oh dear. It's overtaken in a five ton bus up a hill on a 60 road. I need to get my license. And the bets are in. We got a pass. Oh, thank God. Yes. Go on, Custy Girl. It's quite a lot of um, advisories, but it's passed, so we've got another year. We're going to Scotland. We're going to Scotland. <laughs> yes. Actually, we're probably going to only make it to maybe the bottom of England because uh, Kester's a big girl. She does take quite a long time to get anywhere. So, um, Scotland in three days ish. Don't worry, I won't bore you with the boring motorway shots. So, for snacks, I've got some flatbread and hummus. I did have a flapjack, but it got munched. Behind me, I've got some veggie jerky, black bean sauce flavour, not my favourite, 6 out of 10. I've got a banana and caramel muffin that I'm quite excited about. And last but not least, an umbrella hat, because we are going to Scotland. Also, listen to this song if you need a bit of motivation in life. I'm not very keen on that road for tonight, but home for the night. Forget how slow custard is. Yeah. We're starving now, but luckily we've got some very special visitors coming to feed us. Well, I know you love filming the curtains going up, babe. Well, do you want to get a shot of that? Yeah, I do, yeah. More to film, babe. You want to film every single one? Might do, might do. I actually love it when the bus is this clean. But how long, how long will that last? Depends on you. Depends on you. Mm -hmm. Does it get much better though? Bus is cosy, heating's on, new Super Mario game's out. I get to talk to myself then. Cool. Until our friends come. Fancy seeing you here. How are you doing? How are you, eh? 
Whoa, look at the delivery. Look at this. Hi, hi. <laughs> Remember the you guys? <laughs> <laughs> hey, how are you doing? Ah, good, good to see you, bro. Yeah, you, too. Oh, you, you look really? glowing. Do I? Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you most known for? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Regular water. <laughs> Happy water, anyone? <laughs> So the guys have got um, a tackle truck and we talked about it in Morocco and we were like, you guys should definitely do it. So they built up this caravan, super cool. And they do events all over the UK. James is cooking for us now. And, Wouldn't uh, have had him over otherwise. <laughs> and the last time we were all together, we were in Vietnam riding motorbikes. Now these two got a little baby. This is baby Indiana and he says hello to everybody. In a few years, he will be riding a motorcycle through Vietnam. <laughs> like wouldn't, mum and dad. Wouldn't recommend it, slightly dangerous. He's <laughs> <laughs> so cozy in this bus, look at his little feet. I could eat you. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. This kid's ready. <laughs> <laughs> I've eaten loads on the way up, but I'm still going to demolish these. <laughs> Guys, I love you. Do you know what this bedtime is missing? <laughs> Loving it, you Craig? An aqua disco, is it? What's going on here? I just thought it would be quite, you know, quite nice and meditational for uh, this evening. No. Nope. Lovely babes. I thought it was wicked. Night then. Hello. Not today, hey Clive. I'll take a coffee with some bagels, please. Oh, go just die. Mm. Right, there's only one cup of tea that you need in the morning. Um, I don't know why I'm not an ambassador yet, but uh, biscuit tea, one sweetener, change your life. We have to get a new kettle, uh, so I'd like you to meet Keith the second. Gorgeous boy. Sir, and your biscuit tea. What a dream. I've been busy this morning. Tell the people. I have just Don't been lie. waiting around for Don't breakfast. Don't lie, Craig. <laughs> he gets me up, he pokes me in the bum, he says, <laughs> make me breakfast. No, I'm not sure. I do make a good breakfast, though. <laughs> <laughs> Peanut butter is just a gift though. I don't usually eat breakfast. I'm trying to get into a new routine and everything now we're in the bus, trying to get a bit healthier. You wanna go for a run, yeah? Nobody said that. All right then babes, back on the road. We've got about five hours to get to where we wanna to go, towards the Cairngorms National Park. Hey. So we've been listening to a banging podcast recently called Survival Stories. If you haven't listened to that yet, get on it. They're like 20 minute episodes, real people stories. And the guy who sort of narrates it, he's got such a cool voice. Real survival stories with John Hopkins. So I'm just going to do a bit of social media, watch a few films, you know, have some popcorn. If you can get us there safe and sound, then that'll be great. Okay, here we go. On a road again. <laughs> Go and find the house, babe. Let's go and find the home. Okay. Okay. Hold my hand. Okay. <laughs> just at a little service station stop, just having a little stretch and a toilet break. Great to hear the Scottish accent already, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Do you reckon we might develop one if we live here? I hope so, Craig. I hope so too. <laughs> <laughs> It is actually freezing though. It is. It's so cold. It's like <laughs> we haven't been out of the van for a few hours and all of a sudden it's like it feels like it's in the minus. Yeah, because that's not in any minute now. It snowed in the Cairngorms like two days ago. 12 inches and it settled. <laughs> We're going skiing! I found a spot that's like an hour and 40 away. Happy to do that. Yeah, if you are, you're the driver. Yeah, I can do that. I'm just the bored passenger eating her weight in flapjacks and digestive biscuits. And you didn't offer me one. Sorry about that. <laughs> we passed so many cute little cottages en route and I thought to myself, will we ever find a little cottage of our own? It got dark pretty quickly, so we found a park up for the night.
Whereas it's right on the lock and there's the forest and just good vibes already, isn't it? This is absolutely incredible. Oh, how how lovely Craig. Got our own little beach for the morning. I just can't wait to see what this looks like in the morning. This video is sponsored by Beam. This is me five days ago. I was a mess. I couldn't concentrate and I was having neff all sleep. L little bit more mayonnaise. Toothpaste in the oven! I would spend hours awake, scrolling on my phone, wishing I could just nod back off. That's all in the past now. I've got a new best friend and it's changed my life. It's called Beam's Dream Powder. It's a real beauty. Dream is a delicious and healthy hot chocolate formulated to help you get your best night's sleep ever. It contains magnesium, melatonin, and mushroom superfood like reishi that help you manage your stress, relaxes your muscles, and regulates the body's circadian rhythm, promoting restful sleep. It tastes incredible and has no added sugar and is only 15 calories. It's also helped improve my mood swings. Darling! One more question, Mum, and I'll rip your head off. Dream Powder comes in different flavours and potencies, so you can customise it for your lifestyle. I chose the chocolate peanut butter one, because you all know I'm a bit nutty. <laughs> I drink it half an hour before bed and wait for it to kick in whilst I read. I feel so much better now I've had a full night's sleep. Oh, hi, Mum. <coughs> She's so silly. I'm so excited to share that Bean gave us early access to the biggest sale of the year. So if you want to try Beam's best-selling Dream Powder and get up to 50% off for a limited time, click the link in my description or scan this QR code and use code CYBER at checkout. Go catch some Z's. Morning team. We decided to go on a run this morning. Amy didn't come very prepared though, um, so she hasn't got a rain jacket, she hasn't got any running shoes, so when she comes out, I'll try not to laugh. You ready, Trev? Do you think people are going to point, point and stare? So she's got wetsuit boots on because she didn't want to get her trainers muddy. They're not running trainers. I'm not equipped with running trainers. And we got a t-shirt again to get soaked in. That's fine. I, I put on a bright colour because I thought, well, it might cheer me up while I'm running. And if you get lost, they'll find you. Yeah. Come on then. <laughs> Look at this cycle path. <laughs> <laughs> it's a proper wet morning, but it's lovely. It's not about running. Dogs. <laughs> hey, nice running shoes, though. Where'd you get them from? Thank you. Oh, well, I'm hoping people are going to think these are some kind of like new age technology for running. Where can we go? We haven't quite made it to the spot how we've been looking for houses, but this is kind of what we wanted to do. This is what we had in mind. Let's do some runs, get out in the nature. New house, new me, Craig. We were thinking if we're gonna brave it, maybe we do a little lock swim. We'll see, it's pretty cold. It's eight degrees today. My boots have run out of battery. <laughs> but it's nice, nice and fresh. Good for the soul, you know. Two miles in the bag, not the quickest, but we got it done, 34 minutes. Couple of days. <laughs> I'll charge these when I get in. If you're wondering where the bike cover is, I forgot to put it on after we washed it. So that's bad. We were getting a little bit excited that nothing was yet to go wrong with the van. We spoke too soon. We're at your strap snapped and the trailer boards come off. This is the lifestyle you wanted, babes. Come on, embrace it. <laughs> I've changed my mind, Craig. <laughs> this is the worst part. Oh, the rain's cold enough. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> we nuts, man. <laughs> Mine too. Go on, Keith. <laughs> Rip it. <laughs> Thanks, darling. King of National Park. <laughs> Back in the mix, kids. Just a glorious place, this, isn't it? 
honestly, I can't even explain it. Like, I just feel like I'm home. And I know that sounds ridiculous because I wasn't born here. I haven't got family here. You know, the few times that we have been here, I've just fallen head over heels with Scotland. Yeah. And I'm so, I couldn't, couldn't be more excited to be here to find a forever home. Uh, I just know we're in the right place at the right time, Craig. We should be here right now. Yeah, it does feel good to be back. It might be some of you watching this being like, why would you ever want to stop traveling? It's, it's not like we want to stop. It's just, we've done it for so long. It's just my knees and, and my back, you know? My hips. <laughs> I'm 34 and, uh, now. <laughs> my ankles. We should have got that house with a stair lift. <laughs> oh, Craig, I love your jumper. Oh, well, thanks. <laughs> Is it new? New merch coming soon. If you want to know before everyone else when the merch is going to drop, sign up to our newsletter in the description. Uh, so we got a message from some friends today who are also in the uh, Cairngorms. We're actually doing really well with friends, aren't we? I know. So we're going to go meet the Travel Beans and Baby Noah. Oh man, I'm buzzing. Oh Scotland, what are you doing to me? So if you guys haven't seen Alex and Emma's channel before, they've also got a van and they do a lot of traveling. The van is uh, substantially smaller than ours and I'm not even sure how they're doing it at the moment with baby Noah. So we're going to go and have a look because I know you're all nosy parkers like me and I want to see inside. Knock, knock. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Come on in. Oh, Room. Nice. <laughs> It actually looks really cozy. Room for no more. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in. Full van tour, please, Em. Okay, well, this is the kitchen slash bathroom, bathroom toilet, bathroom, toilet <laughs> under the bed slash bedroom slash driving room. Okay, all in one then. Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> so we do have the extension in the roof. We do. Oh, we yeah, yeah. Have... So we here. do have a mattress that can go up there. Okay. Um, we haven't got it up there at the moment, we just use it for storage. <laughs> but when he's old enough, yeah. he'll be able to have his little bunk bed up there. Oh, so that would so be cute. nice. Oh, this is a but great bit of space though. You, you built it all yourselves, yeah? Yeah. All Emma. I don't want to take any any credit because this is <laughs> He's all so ever. I'm by the job I've done now, I'm taking no. <laughs> I'm so proud of the job you've done. I don't want to take any done. credit for this. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I did it all myself. That's amazing. It's still not really finished. There's some, you know, don't look too closely, basically. We say that about custard <laughs> as well, yeah. Alex and Emma are currently house hunting in Scotland too. So we asked them, why Scotland? Really, it's just a feeling more than anything. Yeah, when we were on the Isle of Skye, we decided we were gonna have kids. So his middle name is Skye. Yeah, yeah. Basically, Scotland just means a lot to us. I love that. Uh, even the weather, you know, this is considered bad oh, weather, I, I guess, so weather. it makes us happy. Yeah. Like, we're built for this. Like, I'm a pasty English man. <laughs> <laughs> so, how do you find it going from two to three then in here? Yeah, we're definitely lucky, aren't we, that he's still yeah. so small and he sleeps pretty well in the bed with both of us. I think when he gets bigger, it will be better in here because he will have his own space up there and we'll get our bed back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we are also below average height. So yeah. <laughs> that really helps situation. We are not all people. You're a tiny friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so are we going to be neighbours then? There's a chance. So. Yeah, we're going to wait to find out yeah. where you buy and then we'll be buying yeah. the house next door. <laughs> Just fit in any parking space as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's fantastic. I know, look at the state of that over there. <laughs> Her bum hanging over. Yeah. But we can only stand in this little square. <laughs> to pull your trousers up. Yeah. <laughs> you appreciate having space to pull your trousers up when yeah. you're in such a small space. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, hats off to you both. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It's absolutely incredible. Sure. What a life he's going to get, you know? Oh, Just travelling the world and going to go and see new houses now and yeah. really start a new chapter. Exactly. Just create a new story all the time. Exactly. Yeah. You have something to say? What do you think? Where do you want to live? Don't get camera shy now, come on. Eh. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> you want to come live with Auntie Amy and Uncle Craig? Did he just nod? I, I think, think so. <laughs> <laughs> yes. In a few days we've got a house view in and we think this is going to be a winner. Oh. Fingers crossed. So the plan now is to go to the closest town, check it out, there's like a lock there. Just have a wonder about, see if it feels like home. Yeah. See if it feels like the village we want to be a part of. Hopefully they accept us into the community. So yeah, it's really exciting because the drive just to this town where we met the Beans was beautiful. And it's only like 20 odd minutes that way. And it's just being here in the autumn, you've got the deep green pine colors. 
turmeric latte coloured oh. grass yeah. and the amber leaves swishing about in the trees. It's just it's poetry in motion. Alright, we couldn't help ourselves then, but we've come to the bottom of the house. So the house is up a big driveway, so we're not going to be able to see it. We don't want to like, no spoiler alerts or anything for Sunday, but we just want to come and have a look at sort of the ground part and the driveway, because we're very exciting. <laughs> Maybe too excited, but let's go. It's like a castle or something. I don't know. <laughs> this isn't the house, by the way. Look at this area, Liz. Stunning. So nice, isn't it? We were like driving through all this epic scenery with like lush big trees, like all the amazing autumn colours. And then you go through a patch where there's like not that many cool trees, do you know what I mean? And we were like, <laughs> please be by cool trees. And like, <laughs> this is the cool tree spot. Like, what did we say? Like a magic enchanted forest. That's what we want, magic enchanted forest. So there's not too much to ask for, is it really? Now I haven't said this about every house, only the ones that I was truly ready to buy aka the schoolhouse before that I was gutted that we didn't go for. However, I realise why we didn't go for that. You know, I'm perfectly fine with accepting if something isn't right for us. Just putting that out there first. But, <laughs> this is the one. For me, this house is the one. Like, I don't want to say too much because when I called the estate agent, they were like, there has been a lot of interest. People have already put offers in over the asking price and they haven't even seen it yet. I've got really good feelings about this one. That looks like a bit of a mad driveway, doesn't it? Well, it's just as well we bought a 4x4 before we got here I then. I told you we needed a 4x4, <laughs> this is what I'm saying. I'm going to get cursed to the bus up there. What do you want to do? Amy think, thinks it's trespassing if we go now. Absolutely not. We cannot go up there. Why? I know nobody lives in it, but it's not our place to be. We've been invited to go <laughs> on Sunday. You used to be hard. I can't wait for Sunday. Yeah, you can't too. come any quicker. Because I thought you were sort of on the fence about this one. No, I'm just pl I'm just playing it smart. You know, as I, opposed and, and to what, homes. I'm not trying to get too invested. I'm just trying to think it, of it really objectively. Because even if we go there on Sunday, we absolutely love it and we want to put in an offer. Yeah. We've still got the next hurdle, which is fighting with 40 other people who want to buy it as well. Yeah. So this has got a closing date as well, which means that everyone has to put in a silent bid. So you don't even know how much people are offering. By Wednesday. It's basically like buying a house on eBay. But we've done that before, so it'll be fine. But we did outbid each other by 700 pounds, so. <laughs> It's not going to go smoothly. Hello ladies, uh, just thought we'd introduce ourselves. We're Craig and Amy. We might be your new neighbours just living up the street there. We brought cake, don't worry. I'll be down now. <laughs> God, <was> so <laughs> Oh wow. Oh cool. That looks amazing. 